Hey guys, Smitty here with Smith Show Collectibles. Thanks for stopping by. Guys, today we're doing an awesome little uh, product review. This is the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Sanctum Sanctorum from Doctor Strange. Uh, this is uh, set number 76060. Uh, this was a 2016 release. And guys, if this is your first time stopping by, we appreciate you popping in. Um, please give us a thumbs up. We love uh, any comments, feedback. Please, we, we always try to interact as best we can. We respond to all of our viewers. And uh, most importantly, please subscribe to our channel. It's just we, we value and appreciate all the support. Guys, if you've been here before and you're coming back, uh, welcome back. So like I mentioned, we're doing a little product review. This was, again, a 2016 Lego set. Um, Marvel Super Heroes came out after the original Doctor Strange movie. Uh a personal favorite of mine kind of took the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe into a different direction, really. Kind of the uh, mysticism, the dark arts, what, what have you. Uh, huge success. Big fan of the characters. Uh, obviously, we saw what an important role Doctor Strange played in the whole uh, you know Infinity War saga. Um, but this was a cool little set that Mar Marvel, uh, excuse me, that Lego released. And um, small set, 358 um, pieces. Uh, what I like about it is it's kind of this this little standalone, sort of this this little mini version of the Sanctum Sensorum. Um, what what really stands out to me personally is if you, if you guys look in the background here, I'm actually going to move the box so you can kind of see. Um, got the instructions back there, uh, and I apologize because we got a couple cables there. Let's just. There we go. Clean it up a little. But what's really cool is we have um, just a cool little, we got the cool little design there. That's sort of that bay window uh, with that mystical sort of look that uh, the Sanctum Sanctorum has that you see in all the different movies when we're at Bleecker Street. Again, that's where uh, this particular Sanctorum is. Um, and you, you see the background. You see that uh, awesome sort of a silhouette of that, that big window right there. Um, and what's really cool about this set is it is, you know, it's, it's actually some of the simplicity, um, you know, is what really stands out to me is that it is a simple set, but there's so much detail and, you know, the matching bookcases, uh, I'm actually going to move the characters out of the way, um, bring this a little closer. You look at the matching bookcases and Lego did a really cool job with just adding little details. Like I said, just cool little accessories. These are just some stacked blocks right here. Um, that create the illusion of a bookcase that create the illusion of all these, you know, uh, mystical books and things like that. If we look at the table right here, we got the little twin flames going. Um, what's really cool is as I knock a few things over, um, on the actual table itself, there are some, you know, what appears to be almost like mail or something, little bits of letters. Uh, one has a Stark industry. One says Shambhala. Um, and then the other cool thing, I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna just wait to get to this awesomeness, but there's a little treasure chest within the treasure chest. You have, you know, different keys, things like that. Um, if you remember in the library that Wong protected, um, you know, all the, he had the key around his neck, uh, that allowed access to certain books, things like that book of Ashanti, whatever. Um, but there's a lot of cool little, uh, just neat little details. I'm going to pull this really close. Uh, you can even see there's just like some letters on the ground, you know, and you're like, what is this? Just the detail in it. I mean, they were just simple stickers they did, but there's one that says it's addressed to Dr. Strange. Um, you know, again, like I said, the Stark Injury Industries. Uh, if you look over here, um, there's just a bunch of different little maps and things like that. Uh, I do believe one of those maps is a map to Kamartage. Um, and there's just little nods to the Dr. Strange universe. Um, which, so for me personally, like, I, I think based on this kind of like a little small little mock-up, almost like a little diorama of just a portion of, you know, the Doctor Strange world and the actual sanctum, I think they really captured it. Um, what's really cool about this is, you know, they tried to make this a very interactive set. So when we kind of talk about what we've got going on, uh, there are three minifigures that come with it. It is pretty much the three main characters. Obviously, we have a uh, Doctor Stephen Strange. Um, the details fantastic. Uh, he's got the little cape going on here, which, as we know, that his cape has basically taken on a character of himself right there. Um, also, too, he's got his little like a uh, you know, and I, I apologize, I forget. 
Uh, when he uses his, uh, once he actually learns his uh, mystical arts, he can conjure up different manifestations. These are his little uh, shields. And the detail on them is actually super impressive. You can see there's like little fine, sort of almost like writing, little intricate details. Um, and then I'm going to kind of pull these out of the way. And this is what's really cool. And again, I've talked about this in the last couple of videos, if you guys watched any of them. Uh, just the detail on his uh, outfit, the fact that they have the Eye of Agamotto just sort of etched in in, uh, in print there. Uh, super cool. I, it just It's just a really awesome uh, detail, you know. So I've been really impressed again with just, this was a 2016 set. I grew up playing with Lego back in, you know, the early 80s um, where there was a much simplistic, you know, more simplistic design. Uh, but just the amount of detail they put in is is pretty fantastic. Uh, the other thing, too, which uh, I know a lot of the figures have is you have the option and ability. Here's kind of stoic Stephen Strange. And then when you turn him around, <laughs> here is very serious getting ready to fight Stephen Strange. So that's kind of a cool little feature, obviously. We put the hairpiece back on. Uh, let's, let's actually get the sun cracked. Uh, but even just the details, his little sort of white streaks, very, uh, the, the, the little, the little wingtips, very, very, uh, Sopranos, poly walnuts. Um, no, but it's just a cool little, it's a cool little, uh, detail that Lego's done more recently with a lot of these, um, different figures, minifigs, is they've given you kind of the option to have a different, you know, different facial features. So obviously Stephen Strange is, is, he's kind of our big dog here. Uh, but we also have Baron Mordo and, um, Baron Mordo again, the, once again, uh, his details a little bit more simplistic, but that was his, that was his look. That was his look. He, he, he was wearing more of the robe look. Um, and here is his, uh, staff. And, um, again, I believe Mordo. Yep. You have the option. So there's sort of stoic. There's get ready to battle. Uh, put his little hairpiece back on there. Again, even just the fact that when you look close, like he's got his little like five o'clock shadow, just a great little feature. Uh, just it just makes it it just makes it more realistic to the actual brand itself, to the actual comic characters, to the to the characters we've fallen in love with in the, in the movies. Um, and it's just a really cool little sort of adaptation um, of, of of how how they you know Lego's done a great job sort of you know replicating the, the feel, um, you know of certain scenes because again you know you have the stoic look sometimes you'll have a a happier look and then other times it's the getting ready to fight uh and then the last one uh which is again awesome we have the ancient one as you remember uh the ancient one who's the one who taught Stephen strange all about the 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 world of mysticism she's got her little fans and again uh get kind of close here there's all that amazing little detail and I know it's kind of simple, but it really isn't, actually. It's very intricate. Uh, all the little designs and her fans. Uh, again, just sort of the way that her, her outfit, her, her body has sort of been been uh, painted to look like she's kind of in her robe and stuff like that. Uh, again, if you remember, the ancient one uh, was bald. So that's kind of a simple little effective way to re uh, recreate that. And what they did with the actual set, again, I promise we're getting to this craziness is uh, they created a couple little different ways with just the, the little clear uh, pieces where you can, I'll kind of bring around to the back. So you have the option where they created these little, uh, some of these clear pieces they've used from the back where you can actually, you know, put your character on and now you, it, it, it sort of replicates the idea of them, you know, flying around as you remember, you know, using their, their mystical arts and all the things that they had and their ability to manifest different, uh, sort of things <laughs> they could, uh, sort of fly around and it just made it more interactive, things like that. So kind of a cool little feel, cool little feature. Uh, so we'll get the ancient one kind of floating over there. And then of course comes to like, you know, the, the, the elephant or octopus in the room, shall I say, is the creature that our, uh, heroes are battling and, it wasn't particularly announced and it wasn't exactly representative of the movie as Dormammu was sort of the big baddie. Um, and so is Kaiselis and, and, uh, I forgot what they were called. Uh, oh my God, I, my, my memory is failing me, but, but all, all of these, uh, these former, um, 
you know, um, my goodness, I forgot what they what they called themselves. But anyways, they were sort of the the fallen ones who had gone to sort of, you know, chosen evil and whatever, um, you know, were casting the bad spells out of the book of Vishanti. But anyways, so this particular character um, is, I believe, representative of Shuma Gorath, who was a creature we actually saw in the animated What If series. Uh, it's a creature that... Um, Doctor Strange has had many battles with, um, you know, fr he's from a different realm, uh, the Dark Dimension, things like that. But what's super cool is on top of the fact he's got all his little tentacles, and I'll actually bring it closer, he's got all his tentacles, he's got his teeth, he's got his eyes, is the fact that, again, the interaction of this is, is what's really cool. Is you got a cool little gear set with a little wheel, and you're like, okay, what do we got going on? When we flip back around, and again, this is sort of the versatility of this set, allowing you to make the creature and his tentacles come out. They can uh, attack and grab one of your heroes and uh, sort of kind of pull them in. It's a cool little it's a cool little setup. I just feel like for something where it's kind of just a, a little vignette of the actual Sanctum Sanctorum, so much detail, uh, cool interaction, just a cool way for, again, if you like to, you know, if, you, if you're like me and collect and love building and love displaying, there's a lot of versatility with this set and how you can kind of, you know, create, create something interactive. Um, again, for those of us who, you know, hey, we like to play with our Lego, uh, it just creates like a really interactive, fun sort of uh, little battle scene as they fight the, uh, as they fight the Shumagorath. So really cool little set, a lot of bright colors. And again, like I mentioned, it's kind of, it's very simple in its design, but I think what really stands out is just all the great detail. Uh, a lot of it is just, um, you know, the detail in the minifigures, the cool little, uh, you know, like I said, the, the cool little letters and the, the different maps. And uh, a lot of it was just Lego did a great job with their stickers that you apply. Um, and it just created this whole sort of interactive, really excited, colorful uh, yet sort of simplistic design of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, if you do follow the Marvel superhero world of Lego, there was an actual, I believe it was for the Infinity War uh, release, they did create almost like a full-size Sanctum Sanctorum. Um, again, this is just sort of representing the um, sort of little library area, den area, if you would, of Dr. Stephen Strange. So, anyways, this was a fun little set. Uh, 358 pieces, simple build, really cool, interactive, a lot of movement. Movement's always fun. I mean, honestly, it just it just makes it more creative. So, um, I was a big fan of this, huge fan of the movie. Big bright colors on the box. Uh, kind of shows you. This kind of shows you how, like, you know, you can use the uh, the interaction. Um, you know, some of the versatility and just sort of to create your own little scene here as we as as our heroes fight the Shumagorath. Uh, there were two instruction booklets. Again, pretty simple build. A lot of fun, though. Very interactive. Uh, big fan of it. So, anyways, guys, this was our Marvel Super Heroes Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum uh, set number 76060. 358 pieces. Came out in 2016. Awesome retired set. Big fan. Big fan of Lego World. Big fan of the Marvel Super Heroes universe. MCU everything. Guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys appreciate our videos. Again, subscribe, like, comments, feedback, all the good stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.